So welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we're doing a bit of a makeup declutter video um, and also incorporating, um, you know, my collection. Just before we start, this is a video that I have been requested to do, so this isn't a look at all my makeup. Um, I do understand I do have a lot of makeup and that is just the way I am. It's not for any sort of showing off reasons I am doing this because I've been asked to. Um, so I thought I'd take you through the drawers that I'm not going to declutter first, just to sort of show you what it's like. So this is the first drawer and this is my um, sort of bullet style lipsticks. And I've just got them all arranged in these dividers. This is what the divider looks like normally. And they sort of slot together to make any sort of sized gaps you want. I saw these on Loose Stevenson's channel. I'll pop her description her description of her channel in the description and um, go check her out because she has an amazing channel um, but she had these in her drawers so I asked her where were they from and they're from Amazon I'll pop a link to them in the description as well because they are amazing they come in all different colours obviously I went for pink but they have white and they have purple they have quite a lot of different colors i just thought the pink was a nice contrast to the drawer and um, we're not going to touch this drawer today because it's not full um i haven't got any lipsticks that i don't like the color of so we're going to leave that one for today so the next drawer we have is my uh, liquid lipstick drawer and as you can see it is ridiculous so this is definitely a drawer that i'm going to tackle in this declutter series um, I'm not feeling that well today, so I'm feeling like this is too daunting for me. Um, if you don't know, I do suffer with anxiety. And, yeah, that drawer just makes me want to shut it, so we'll just shut it. I am going to declutter some of the easier drawers first, and then we'll move on at a later stage to declutter other drawers. So this is my next drawer, and this is... Um, as you can see, we've got foundations, we've got powders, and um, that's pretty it, much it in this drawer. So I'm just going to go through and declutter what I don't need or what I don't like anymore. And then what I'm going to do with these items once I've decluttered them, if they're really old, so lightly expired, they will be going in the bin. If they're usable, then I will be putting them over to one side and I'm either going to put them on Depop or eBay or if they're brand new and untouched, I may put them in a giveaway in the future. Um, but as I say, if they're disgusting, they're going in the bin. It's only if they're lightly used or if they're um, new that I will be keeping them. So we'll just go through one by one and I'll show you what's in this drawer. We'll start with powders. So I've got quite an array of powders. We've got the I Heart Revolution one. This one... I got in a advent calendar very very recently it's still sealed and um, so I'm gonna hold on to that because I want to try it in an upcoming video we have these which I used to love these are like really really old now I don't even remember the last time I used a colored pressed powder these are in the color ivory Um, I feel like these might be 10 years old I might be exaggerating but I feel like I've been using translucent powder for the longest time, so these are like probably disgusting. I'm not even gonna, um, you know, pass these on or anything. I am just gonna bin them. Another one for the declutter. This is the Nip Fab um, setting powder in number one translucent. It is a white powder. It is a nice powder, but it's no good for me because it causes the most horrendous flashback and you know always using a ring light and always filming there's no i've got no use for this powder this one which is the hollow graphic halo finishing powder now this has actually never been used but i am going to use it at some point it is holographic it is almost like an illuminator and yeah i've just not got around to using that so that one's staying this one i picked up in a beauty box and i really like it this is the new by nature translucent powder and as you can see it's a little bit darker it's not a white powder i do actually like that i'm just using up a different one at the moment so i'll hold on to that this powder um again beauty box i think i've used it like twice it's not the most exciting powders but it's all right i think it's going to survive the coldest time but it may go next time 
And this I got for a video. I was going to do a W7 video. I'm still going to do that video at some point, so we'll keep that for now. We have a number seven Miracle Matte Loose Powder. And I think I've got two of these. And I know it's not number seven, it's 17. I've got two of these. I'm going to keep one and let the other one go. Um, this one's going nowhere. Love this. This is my second favourite powder. So my first favourite is the Laura Mercier, but this is my second favourite. So keep on. I'm keeping hold of this because at the minute my Laura Mercier is running low. And these two I Heart Revelations. I got these in a recent haul and they smell incredible, but I haven't got around to using them yet. So they're staying for now. I've got a little e.l.f. Um, powder. This is for under the eye and again, I've not used it yet. But I do want to give that one a try, so I'll probably do a testing video on that, so I'll keep that on for now. Um, more powders. I have a powder issue. <laughs> so we have the Golden Rose from um, Matalan. This one was good. I, I think I quite liked it, but it did make me go paler than I am, if I remember. Um, I'm going to get rid of that because I just have too many. Um, this is the Revolution Pro White Base Powder. I'm keeping that because that's great for Halloween. Love this one. This one is the Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder from um, Rimmel. Love it. We'll be keeping that. And the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Translucent. Again, love it. Keeping that. We've got the Luna by Luna Powder. This one was in a beauty box. It's still sealed. I've got no use for it, as you can see, I've got tons of powders, so I'm probably going to pass this one along. Um, the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, again, I got this in a beauty box. I've opened it to sort of swatch it, but that's all I've done, so I do need to test that one out. I'll keep that. And I've got a L'Oreal one, which again, I've not opened. I need to test that one out, so we'll keep it for now. And this one is a RMCA Pearl Powder, so it's not the translucent one that everyone loves this is actually a pearl one it is sealed but i'm going to show you what it's like because i've only seen somebody else using this i've never used it myself obviously because it's sealed look at that i don't know whether it would even show up how sparkly it is but it is like pure glitter again keeping that for you know when you need a sparkly look it's not an everyday powder but you know we'll need that at some point so foundations so this one's nearly finished um i really enjoyed using this it is the infallible l'oreal infallible 24 hour stay fresh foundation i'm going to put this in my i have like a little box that i use constantly with my go-to i'm going to put it in there so that we can pan it we have the MUA Pro Base Foundation. As you can tell, it's like almost white. I got this for a Halloween look that I never got around to doing, but I think I'll do it coming up to Christmas. So watch this space. I'll be keeping that one. This is my favorite foundation of all time. And this is the PS My Perfect Color Glow Foundation. I have this in a couple of shades. So I have it in Cool Sand, which is a bit dark and Porcelain. This is a different packet, but they're pretty much the same foundation. So I'll be keeping them and because I love them. Revolution Pro full coverage camouflage concealer. Didn't like it because if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I don't like a full coverage foundation. It just settles in all my fine lines and makes me look like haggard <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah, I'll be getting rid of that. I've used it like once. Um, we've got the W7 Genius Featherlight Foundation. I've not tried this, but I'm hoping, you know, I've got high hopes for it because it seems similar to, like, the Primark version. So I'm hoping that it will be. So keeping that because I need to give it a try. Revolution Pro Foundation Mixer. This is, like, an illuminating one. Again, this was for a Halloween look that I never did, but I will get around to using it. This is the Conceal and Define full coverage foundation i actually didn't mind this one i didn't like the hydrating one but i didn't mind this one so i'm going to keep hold of that for now this is a lightener again really handy to have 
and then we've got a stick foundation by Revolution. I don't know why I bought this, I'm not into sticks, I'm going to get rid. Got a little mini cover effects that I was going to test and never got around to it, so we'll keep that and test it at some point. Another stick, this is a Primark My Perfect Colour Stick, again, not for me, so that's going. This is another shade of the um, L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation. I think the other one that I fished out that was nearly done is a bit too light and this one's a bit too dark so I might fish that one out too and we can do some mixing. We have the Golden Rose Total Cover 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This was from uh, Matalan. It was alright. There wasn't really anything wrong with it but I don't really need another foundation so I will get rid of that one. This one is the Primark um, dupe for the Estee Lauder. Didn't like it, but then again, I didn't like the Estee Lauder either. I ended up selling it on because it wasn't for me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Revolution Concealer Define in F1. The other unopened one was SF05. So we'll keep both of those. It'll be good for mixing if they're not right. And finally, we have the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I am going to keep this one just for now because I want to give it another another chance but it wasn't my cup of tea if you've seen my testing video you know I didn't like it as fir at first go but I am going to try it again and see what I think so here we have all my concealers and primers and that is literally it oh there's one eyeliner that shouldn't really be in there but the rest is concealers and um, primers so let's go through and see what we can get rid of here We'll start with the concealers first, so we've got the Conceal and Hydrate, again wasn't keen but I will hold on to it for now. The Cut Crease Canvas, I use this all day, every day, I will be definitely keeping that. We've got the Conceal and Define, again, use this a lot, love it. This is the Prime and Lock um, Eyeshadow Primer, again. It's not one I've tried as yet. I'm, or maybe I tried it once. So I'm gonna keep it. Try it some more. As you can see, I love Revolution. We've got these, which are like Maybelline concealer pen things. And honestly, I've had these for the longest time. I stopped using them a long time ago. They're used, they're gross. In the bin they go. We have a Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable um, Concealer. This one I'm allergic to, so that I don't know why I've still got it. That one's in the bin. We've got the Max Factor CC Colour Corrector in green. I used this one now, it was really bad with my um, redness. Not quite so bad now, but I will want. I do want to hold on to this in case I need it. And I really liked this one as well. This is a Knit Fab one, so I'll keep that for now. We've got another one that's from Model Co. I think I got this in a beauty box, so it's still sealed and new. I'm going to get red because I don't need three green colour correctors. We've got the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camera Large Concealer. Didn't like it. Used it once. I'm going to get red. This is a collection, kind of like pen thing, like those Maybelline ones. Again, I've had it for the longest time. I think it's really old and gross, so that's going in the bin. And then we've got a white version because, you know, you need a good white when you're using bright colours. I've got a couple of these 17 Stay Time um, concealers. Never used them. Brand new sealed. I'm going to keep hold of them for now. Try one and if I don't like it, I'll get rid of them. This is a Primark Nudes um, stick. It's really old. I've never used it, but it kind of looks a bit discoloured and gross. So it's going in the bin rather than being passed down. Oh, we've got the Collection Lemon Concealer. This is great as an eye base. I loved it, but I think I was allergic to it because it used to make my eyes run. I couldn't let it go though because I really liked it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it again. And then if it still does it, we'll bin them. We've got a Golden Rose Concealer. This has got one of them spongy ends. So I feel like I can't pass that on. So it's going in the bin. 
We've got a Revolution Focus and Fix eye primer. Again, I'll keep that for now. We've got a First Base by Primark. Again, I've not tried that. I'll keep that for now. And I've got two Benefit Boings, like the minis. Um, we've got number two and number one. I haven't tried these, so I'll keep them for now. So let's move on to primers. So I've got like all these primers here and all these primers here. In all honesty, I don't think there's a lot I'm going to get rid of, but let's have a look. So we have the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base. It's an okay primer. It's not the best, but I will keep it for now. This one I don't really like. This is the Redness Solutions by Clinique. I'm going to get rid of this one because it's not my cup of tea at all. Um, we've got a Benefit Primetime Original. Not tried it, so keep that for now. We've got a Smashbox Primerizer. We've got a This Worked In Transit Close-Up Camera. Again, keep that for now. So this one I love. It's a Smashbox Under Eye Primer. It's really, really good. And I found this one by Revolution Pro that looks similar. They're both hydrating primers. So I am going to do a comparison on these two. So they've got to stay. I've got a Princess Potion by W7. I've not tried it, so it's going to stay for now. Another In Transit camera close-up. We've got an Illamasqua. This is the Beyond Veil. It comes with a little spoon. How cute is that? I've never used this. It looks like this. It looks really sort of like glittery so i might have to give this one a try because i've never used it the photo finish smooth and blur by smashbox so they're all staying i haven't done really that well with that section but i've got another section i've got four of these Lacura and um, smash snap shot ready illuminating primers i adore these these are by um aldi i picked up four because well i've got one open as well because i loved it so much and i know what aldi's like and they might not ever redo them so they're all sealed they'll last me a while so i've kept i've keeping all of them we've got a sport effects um cool down primer and recovery gel i've not used this yet but i'll keep it to give it a try you've got a ps um priming glow essence again how pretty is this this is so pretty i've got to keep it and give it a try I like this. This is the Hydra Matte Primer from Revolution Pro. I do like that one. We have a Becca one, which is the First Light Priming Filter. I've not tried this. Again, I'll have to keep it. We have a Primark um, Beauty Protective Primer. I've not tried it, but it is black, which is putting me off a little bit. Um, I think I'm going get, to get rid of that one. And then I've got a ton of these, which are the L'Oreal Infallible Pore Refining Primers. I do like these. These are great for areas where you have issues. So I am going to keep these for now. I've got an open one here that I am going to put in my sort of everyday makeup collection. See if I can get that one used up. We've got a Priming Oil by Revolution. Well, this is the Revolution Pro one, and I've got a Revolution Regular one. I think I'll get rid of the regular one because I don't need two. How beautiful is this? This is the PS Summer Blur Soft Focus Blur Primer. This is still new and sealed. I've never used it. I'm going to have to give this one a try. I've got the Ciate uh, Watermelon Burst. Again, I've not given this one a try. I need to give it a try, so we're keeping that. We have the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Hated it. It's going in the bin. Um, we've got the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. Again, I've not tried it, so we'll keep that one for now. And we've got the 17 Three-Way Highlighter that's a primer and highlighter again i've not tried this one i don't think yep i've not tried that one so we'll keep that and give it a try and i've got this one as well which i've not tried which is the uh mimi 
protecting radiance primer so we'll keep that for now as well i've done rubbish in this drawer honestly i'm really sorry so this is how much we have so far and this is foundations primers and powders and concealers so we're doing all right we're doing all right so we're moving down to blushes and i've got a lot of blushes and a lot of them fingers crossed we'll be going i've got some um little like things to sort of separate them i've got those were from Poundland. I've got these. And I'm going to try and get a bit of sense of order in this drawer because I've got my, my small br blushes all mixed in with my um, blusher um, palettes. So let's get going and see what we can get rid of. First thing to go, which I honestly thought had gone a long while ago, is this um, blusher from number seven. This is in the shade Natural um soft damson absolutely adored this blusher i've had a few of these and i've hit pan on a couple but i've had it that long now as you can tell the window's broken and they don't even make them this shape anymore so it's time for it to go in the bin and yeah this one's giving me anxiety i don't know where to start this is new and sealed and it is by 17 it doesn't look like a shade I would use. I think I must have bought this online and didn't realise. So that one can go. Hmm. Now I'm starting to struggle. Um, this one I got from um, Matalan again. It's not my colour, so it can go. This is new and sealed. I've got another MUA blusher here that's open. I don't need two, so we'll get rid of that one. We'll keep this one. This one I got recently. If you watch my haul videos, you'll have seen this one. It's so pretty, so that's definitely staying. That's a Laura Geller one. We've got a uh, Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This one is a really pretty colour. I actually got this... Um, I imported this from America before... Um, physician's Forma came here so I'm definitely keeping this one for now I got these recently again in a haul um, you will have seen it if you've seen it, my revolution hauls keeping those for now we've got this tart one which is just gorgeous so again keeping it I need to I need to some of these that I've not used in ages I need to bring them to the front so that I can use them um, we've got this Primark one, it's new and sealed. I'm going to get rid of that one. Olivia Hale, I'm going to get rid of that one. This is new and sealed and it's from um, I Heart Revolution. I'm going to get rid of that. We've got a collection one. This is a nice iridescent one, so I am going to keep this. I'll see if I can do a swatch for you. Just a nice sort of shimmer. This is my one and only Colourpop blusher. So again, I'm keeping that one. And it's a really pretty shade. We've got a NYX one, which is a very bright colour. It might do for um, certain looks though. So I'm going to put it to one side and see what else comes out of this drawer. And then make my mind up. got another essence blusher this one's a matte one so I'll probably keep that one as well we've got a NYX land of lollies it's not really my shade so I'll probably let that one go we've got an essence mosaic blush I actually think I prefer this one to the one I just showed you to this one so I think I'm going to change my mind, get rid of that one and keep that one. So here we have three 17s. This one I use all the time. This one is um, the cheap, uh, Plum Puff, this one. Um, we've got another that's a nude and that one's unopened, but I like the look of that colour. And then we've got a backup Plum Puff. Now they don't make this anymore. I will keep all three of those. Um, so we've got a L'Oreal... Um, 
blush palette. I'm going to keep it because I think this might be the only L'Oreal blush I have. And it's good to have, you know, one of most brands um, when you have a YouTube channel. So I'll keep that. So I have a Morphe palette, which is very, very pretty. So I'm keeping that. So we've got a Sweet Cheeks palette by, um, this is a Primark one. New and sealed. I'm probably never going to reach for it because I've got so many. So we'll get rid of that one. And then we've got a matte summer blush. Um, so this colour that's drawing me to this palette. So I might just hold on to it for a bit longer because that looks like my type of colour. We have a Revolution. This is uh, Blush Queen. I've used this to death. I love this palette. I like to like, because they're quite shimmery, I like to mix two or three together. Um, and it's so versatile you can do sort of like a more peachy look or a more reddy or pinky look so definitely keeping this one this one is one of my faves again one of my faves I don't even think I've used this this much but this is a peach palette and I love anything peach so definitely keeping that one for sure we've got this one which is uh, blush goddess it's still sealed it looks a bit mucky on the outside but it's still sealed I probably won't reach for this one, so I'm going to get rid of it. This one we got recently. This is the Colourpop Peach. I'm keeping that. We have a Nip Fab palette that I've not even touched. We'll be keeping that because I will touch it. <laughs> I haven't got... The, the point of this video is if I get rid of some of it, I'll be able to use more of all of it because I don't use them because there's too many in the drawer. That looks suspiciously like the same as the other one. Yeah, so this is the same as the one I've just decluttered. Again, I may as well just declutter this one as well because I probably won't reach for it. So I've got two of the same. They're both sealed. We've got the Cheek Cheeky Peach from Primark and I absolutely adore it, especially this shade here. So I will be keeping that one. This is the Sweet Cheeks by NYX. And it's got so many different versatile shades that I will keep it for now because it'll be great for different kind of looks. We've got a Maybelline blush palette. This one's still sealed. It's never been used. I, I'm i not sure if I've got any other Maybelline um, blushes though. So I'll keep it to one side. And if I don't find any others, I will keep it because, as I say, I like to have one of each um, brand in my collection. Another Primark one. This is the Chocolate Cheek. Um, it's got a few scratches on it, but I don't think I've actually used it. I think I probably just like brushed it with my hand. Um, I'll be getting rid of that one. We have a Too Faced Love Flush, and I love this one, so we will be keeping that. This is one I've just recently received in um, an advent calendar, so yeah, I'll be keeping this one. We have the um, Beauty Bakery Pizza, Pizza Cake, but I'm definitely going to be keeping that. This is really pretty. We've got an Elizabeth Arden one and it is a gorgeous colour and it has a bit of glitter. Let me swatch it so it's there so that one's staying. Right, we've got a few Primark blushes so I'm going to go through them together. So I've got three here and they are all different shades actually. Um, I think we're going to keep the bottom two and get rid of this top one. They are all brand new and sealed. Um, but that one's a bit darker, so it's probably too dark for me. So we'll get rid of that one. This one's a new one to my collection. It's still sealed. I got it in a beauty box and I will be keeping it because I love Pixie. We have a Sleek palette. To be fair, I may get rid of this. But saying that, I don't have any other Sleek palettes at the moment. That blusher looks really nice actually, so I probably will hold on to that for now. So that another Revolution blush palette. This is new and sealed and it is my kind of colours because it is like sort of um, more oranges and peaches, so I will keep that one. Got an MUA Duo. Again, that's quite nice colours. I'll keep that one for now. I think we're going to get rid of this one because I don't think I'll ever use it. This is the Primark Born Wild Shimmer Blusher. Got a George one. This has actually probably only been swatched. I think uh, I need to get rid of some, so I'll get rid of that one. We've got the Primark Angel Powder. I think I'll keep that one. And I've got another Angel Powder in a different shade, so I'll keep those. We've got a Revolution Blushing Hearts. Gorgeous colours, so I'm going to keep that. We've got a NARS one. Keeping this one because I adore it. We've got two ABH ones. 
Uh, we've got pool party, which looks like this. It's very, very pretty. And we've got pink passion, which is a bit sort of pinker. Definitely keeping those. We've got this morph, uh, Morphe. It's in the colour Spirit, so I'm just going to check the Morphe palette I've got and see what colours are in there. Yep, so Spirit is actually in the Morphe palette, so I'm going to get rid of the single blusher. There's no point having them both. So we have the Liqueur Blush, which is a dupe for the NARS. I've got a backup and a regular, and I'm keeping both. We have a blusher brick from Olivia Hale. I'm going to get rid of that one. We have a Max Factor. I'm going to keep that because it's new and it's really, really pretty. We have a NYX one. And this one's sealed as well, but it's a really pretty shade. So I think we'll keep that. I'm going to keep doing declutters. So at some point they'll probably go anyway. So this is a Revolution one. So it's the Revolution Sprinkles. And it's just so cute. So that's day in Lagerfeld so we've got this one which is uh it doesn't say but these are two different colors anyway I think this one might be the same as this one uh, so it's the same as that one this is a duplicate so we'll get rid of the duplicate we've got a gorgeous Laura Geller this is a really new palette to me so it's definitely staying we've got a Rimmel one and this is my only Rimmel one so I'll probably just keep it for that reason I've got a cargo one, which is a little tiny tin, which is quite cute. Quite a cute one. And a bare minerals, which again, it's new, it's sealed, but it's the only bare minerals I have, so we'll keep that. So I'm going to get everything back in and do it in some sort of decent order. I'll do this bit on fast forward for you. that's this drawer done and I feel so much better with that much more organized and um, before I could not reach in and grab anything because all the little bits were all flying about so yeah really happy with how that drawer went it's still a bit heavy though that's why it's not shutting properly um but yeah I think that's enough for one day we have this much stuff now so we've got quite a lot of stuff decluttered um what i'll do is i will pop some of this as i say on depop i'm going to put some of it um like some of the brand new stuff as giveaways as well um and possibly give some to family or friends if they want it as well so um i'll pop all, i'll pop a link down below to my depop anyway just in case you're interested in any of this um but this this series will continue it's going to continue um until i've done all my drawers i've literally done one two two i've literally done three drawers and all these drawers are full of makeup so we will reconvene with the other drawers very very soon 
and yeah i hope you did enjoy this video i hope it wasn't too long-winded um and thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye